All of this represents step 18. We completely finished off step 18 in episode 120. And I guess that's history. Save this for the next batch. And we can officially start step 19. Now it looks like there's not a whole lot, but in some cases, like this is all, all of this is actually this piece here. And they want seven of them. Here's a simple little one, this should go easy. Make three of those. Um, there's one piece of photo etch right here. And as near as I can see, there's only one piece of photo etch. Mind you, there's seven of this one piece. <laughs> now for those of you who are getting really tired of tiny little pieces, when we get into step 20 here, we get into some bigger stuff. I think these pieces here, they're about that long. They're about as long as on the picture. We may as well start right at the beginning of 19 and make our searchlight. And it appears that everything is on the L sprues and on the S sprue. Now some of these pieces are so obvious I don't know why I'm bothering making out labels here. Uh, but I guess it's sort of force of habit. So we've got L 39, 40, 53, and 54. Okay. Now when I was snipping off the pieces there in step 18, the pieces were so much smaller that it was easier to hold onto the sprue and snip off the piece. But here we have pieces that are actually, you know, uh, fairly good size and they're easy to actually hold on to. So I'm just going to snip a little closer here. This is uh, number 40, as you can see. And then I'll be able to just uh, trim off the, the uh, extra sprue later. Now, I don't want to misform anything here. We get nice and close like this. Okay. Alright, we need L53 and 54. 53 and 54. Now I know some of you are thinking, well, aren't you supposed to make seven? Well, there are four of the L sprues. I'm going to actually end up with an extra piece. Now as long as we're dealing with the L sprue, yeah, we may as well get the other pieces we need here. L5 and L15. Okay. L5 looks like a fragile little guy there. I want to snip him off carefully. Very carefully. Just have my cutter, my nipper right on the very tip. So there'll be a minimum amount of twist. There, you see that? Okay, here's 15.
Okay, now we just repeat the procedure on the other remaining 3L sprues. Even though we only need seven searchlights, I've snipped off all the parts for eight. And that way, if we accidentally wreck something, well, I don't need to go rummaging through the sprues to try and find the part. Okay, the S sprues. Looks like this four. And everything is clear plastic. They're all identical. Each one is identical. Okay. So we need S4 and S3. It's a little harder to read the numbers on this, but it's pretty obvious. This is obviously the larger piece and this is the smaller piece. I guess uh, this is going to have to be hand painted. I won't be able to spray this because I guess the idea is you don't want to cover over the lens. Now after I get three and four snipped off there's just two very tiny little pieces left. Well, I wonder when will be the next time we need the S sprue. Well, whenever it is, we're ready. Okay, now the ship's bell. E12 and E29. Okay, here's 12, and 29, there's 29 right there. Not very big pieces again. And there's only one bell. Okay, very gently here now. That's the bell. And now, number 29, this will be what the bell hangs on. Now I'm feeling a little bit silly here because S1 and 2, that's the signal lamp. We need three of them. And right beside it, we missed this as well. Now, do you notice how when I screw up, I have a tendency to say, we? It's okay, I saw where it went. Okay, K31 and K32 is part of a whistle. And we need to make two of these. So I want to make sure that I cut well back here. Okay, and right here. Okay, I went over step 19 carefully. I do believe we've got them all now. I'm going to go ahead and do the trimming of the flashing and extra sprue off the little parts off camera. And uh, naturally I'll need these. I'll need my file. 
I'll probably need my uh, uh, sanding sticks. Um, I was going to say something and I forgot what it was. Oh yeah, so sometimes it's a good idea. Like I've I've got these little parts right here, eh? A eh? must be Canadian, and uh, I find that it's a good idea to maybe uh, take and see if I can hold this so that you can see it. You know, uh, fit the little part together, and then you can sort of see. Uh, once again, we have parts that are keyed together, and then you can see how much flashing you have to take off and how much you don't. For instance, uh, I don't know if you can see it or not, but right here, if I take off this little piece right here, it also looks like I should maybe have to snip off something on the inside there, but against this flange that my fingernail's on. But uh, on the other hand, uh, you know why why bother if you don't have to so near as i can see i don't have to i just viewed that scene that i just showed you there and it wasn't all that clear so let's say i was to take my cutter and i was to cut this off flush with the with the radius or the the diameter rather of this part right here cut this piece off i'm still left with this part right here this piece here and and this it, it's not going to make any difference as near as i can tell to, because when this flips over and goes down on top of this um it doesn't seem to affect it this little area here fits inside there so um yeah and something like this might be kind of hard to trim off you know i'm doing a lot of talking here about something that really isn't important I must be uh, putting off having to trim these things up. And I'm poking again. A few minutes ago I was sitting here and I was editing out these last couple of scenes that I just took. And uh, I look up into my surveillance monitor. And you'll notice the uh, center picture. See the little car? Well, I had to laugh out loud. Because it kind of looks like the little car had too much pizza and beer last night and it barfed. I'll just uh, bring that up. <laughs> now, of course, it's not car barf. It's carrots. Now, this has to be the year of the rabbit here in Winnipeg. Uh, this is looking towards my neighbor's backyard. And in the back there, you'll notice he's got... Uh, there's a couple of little gardens. The rabbits have been hopping over the fence. At least he thinks they have. And I was telling him, you know, if the rabbit isn't hungry, it's not going to hop into your garden. So a few days ago, I started feeding the rabbits one carrot a day. Now, I don't think it's helping, of course. But the carrots, I just put these ones out uh, fresh just a little while ago. And the rabbit is, the rabbits aren't running around. When I first got up early this morning, around 7 o'clock, and I turned on my monitors and I was watching, and the rabbits, they were just running around all over the place. Now, of course, that I want to show you the rabbit eating carrots is not going to do it. Anyway, I thought that was kind of amusing. I had to laugh out loud. Yep, the little car had too much pizza and beer. <laughs> Now I can well imagine that somebody's thinking to themselves, my goodness, Winnipeg must be a really dangerous place. He's got to have a surveillance system looking out the entire outside of the house. Well, that's left over from when I had it looking inside the house. I had it originally set up so that the entire upstairs was covered. My wife had Alzheimer's, and towards the end, I had to know what she was doing every minute. And when I was down in my workshop, all I had to do, if things got quiet in the house and I wondered, you know, how's it going upstairs, I'd just look up into the monitor, and then I could rest assured everything was okay. Okay, this piece here used to look like this, and I've snipped off the, the uh, extra sprue. Uh, by the way, I sometimes get the words sprue and flashing mixed up. There's a difference. I'll maybe try and explain that sometime. Anyway, let's get this out of the way. Now, I'm going to try and hold this so that you can see it. I'm just wondering if possibly I can, with these uh, Tamiya nippers, nip this off. If I hold the 
the uh, flat side of the cutter against the flat side of this and then squeeze will it take it off yeah, that's not too bad you just take the file and get rid of that well, maybe I don't even need to anyway yeah oh by the way don't anybody comment and say I need a manicure sorry <laughs> Okay, let's try the other one, and then we'll call it a day for the video here, maybe, see how it goes. Okay, this one didn't grab quite as well. Okay, here's that same piece after I've uh, filed it and sanded it. I probably spent, oh, half a minute or maybe a minute all together on it. And uh, see if I can turn it over here carefully without having it disappear on me. Okay, I've got the uh, edges rounded over fairly good. Um, anyway, just thought you'd like to see that after it's done. Now, actually, this part right here, nobody's going to see it anyway. I think I'm going to spend the rest of the afternoon getting the uh, extra sprue and flashing off of these pieces. And uh, we'll cut the video for today. Thanks for watching, and all being well. We'll see you tomorrow.